Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me for my talk today. So my name is Jun Hao Yu from Essex University. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the Universal Nafra score, uh, which is in collaboration with SOPAN, Afis, Sivir, Samir, and Massimo. Uh, so the Universal Nafra score is a part of the Universal Nafra initiatives, uh, which uh, was launched in 2020, and in order to uh, like the support uh, like the uh, empirical uh, studies of the Nafra uh, by uh, like the um, coordinating uh, like the different existing efforts to annotate uh, not just the identity uh, preference, but as well as all different aspects of the anaphoric uh, interpretations. And also this initiative is not only for the English, but also for the all different languages. Um, so basically, uh, beyond the identity anaphora, the universal uh, anaphora initiatives also covers the following uh, different types. Uh, such as a split antecedent anaphora. Uh, so like in this example, uh, the mention they uh, is refers to the uh, John and Mary, uh, in, so which is a split antecedent anaphora. And uh, it also covers uh, the discourse axis, such as in this, um, uh, like the small uh, paragraphs uh, from the Alice in Wonderland, uh, so the mention here, uh, the mention here that refers to uh, like the uh, refers to the event, uh, a white rabbit uh, with a pink ear running past to the alleys, uh, and also uh, the mention here this uh, it refers to like the uh, the fact that the rabbit uh, was able to talk. Um, so and it also covers like the bridging references. Uh, so, which basically uh, in this example, so the roof uh, is uh, refers to, uh, is, is kind of like associated with the hall. Uh, so it's not uh, identity uh, relationships, but associated relationships. So the uh, universal NAFRA scores, so itself is an extension to the reference coreference score uh, developed back then uh, by the Samir and his colleagues. Uh, so uh, in addition to the identity reference, so the new uh, universal Anafra scholar also uh, uh, like the scores like interpretations such as singletons, uh, split antecedent anaphoras, non-referring expressions, discourse axis, and the bridging references. So it takes uh, in, as an input of the uh, Kono UA exploded format. So the Kono UA exploded format is an extension of the Kono U format and uh, uh, developed uh, uh, by the, those universal dependency uh, person. Uh, and broadly speaking, so it's also compatible uh, with the standard Kono format using the uh, reference reference score. Uh, so it's one of the uh, main uh, like the formatters of the universal Nafra. Uh, so it includes like the three different uh, additional columns to the Kono uh, U uh, format. So the first is the identity uh, columns. So it's trying to specify all the uh, preference uh, relationships as well as the singletons and the non-referring expressions. Uh, and also this uh, split antecedent anaphora is also annotated in this column. So we will talk about this into slightly more details later. And uh, a second column, the bridging columns, is trying to specify the anchors, uh, both in terms of the mention anchor and the entity anchor, as well as uh, options to uh, give the associative relations uh, between the uh, bridging and anaphora and the bridging antecedent. Uh, so a third column uh, called the discourse axis column, as the name suggests, so it annotates uh, the discourse axis uh, in these columns. Uh, so because we want to uh, use uh, the scores um, uh, for both uh, the same metrics for both identity columns and the discourse uh, diaxis columns, so we deliberately uh, design the discourse diaxis columns uh, very similar, nearly identical to the identity columns. So we will also discuss this into more details and how we can use the uh, uh, same scores for the discourse diaxis as well. Uh, so there is also another uh, like the format uh, for the universal anaphora called the compact format. Uh, the main aim for that format is trying to make it compatible uh, with the uh, universal dependency format. So basically it uh, uh, stocks uh, all those uh, three different columns, all the, all the informations into a MISC column uh, in the corner U format. And uh, um, like the Prague people uh, who is uh, 
uh, back to this uh, the compact format. Uh, also, uh, like the developed an extension to this universal NFR scores to support the uh, compact format. And it has been used uh, for this year's Crack Craft UD share task on multilingual craft res resolution. Uh, so we are currently uh, in contact with their team and uh, trying to merge uh, the these new extensions uh, with uh, the uh, universal NAFRA scores and try uh, and we we'll release it in in a new re uh, release. Uh, so this is just a, a screenshot about the Kono UI exploded format. So if uh, uh, you want to know a bit more details, you can use the link below uh, to the GitHub page of the Universal Anafra. And we will also talk about uh, later on, very soon, the details about the attributes of the each different columns. Uh, so first, the identity Anafra is annotated in the identity columns. Uh, it has a few different attributes. So first, uh, entity ID, so it's a class ID of the mention, and the mention ID, as the name suggests, the ID of the mention. And the mean, uh, mean spans, basically, uh, in most of the time, is uh, ahead of the mention. And we also have the uh, semantic tabs, um, so it includes like the things like discourse new, discourse old, and uh, uh, it might be like uh, if in uh, non-referring cases, you could give the tabs of the uh, non-referring, such as the predicate, uh, so if uh, a mention is a split antecedent, it will also have an element of uh, attribute to specify the uh, split antecedent anaphras. So um, in this case, the, uh, the, the entity 10 is a split antecedent of the entity 23. Uh, so the scores, uh, broadly speaking, it can be uh, used in the uh, three different configurations uh, to um, uh, to make it compatible uh, with the previous scores. So it can be configured to evaluating uh, only the preference uh, relations only, so which is same to the kernel 2012 uh, evaluation. And it can be uh, used to evaluate the preference uh, relations uh, in and uh, with the singletons, so similar to the uh, CRAC uh, 2018. And it also can be configured to also include the split antecedent, which is the evaluating evaluation settings of the code crack share task. Uh, it supports all the uh, major uh, like the metrics of the preference um, evaluation, such as mark, b cube, safe, blank, and layer. So let's talk about slightly more about the split antecedent nafras. Uh, so in the UA score, so we implemented a new method proposed in uh, another paper, um, uh, like the, or another paper or other papers. Uh, so basically, the idea behind this is uh, trying to treat the antecedent uh, of a split antecedent nafra as a new types of the mention. So it's kind of like accommodated sets. So for example, so in this um, uh, John Mary examples, so we will create three different reference chains. So the first two are just a normal uh, reference chains, such as John, uh, John, he put together with a reference chain, and Mary and her uh, is put together with another chain. And then for the Z, the chain of the John and Mary, so the Z mentions its normal mention, and this one two here it's a set mention uh, of the reference uh, chain one and chain two. So basically, uh, this is what we talk about, the accommodated sets. Uh, so basically, in order to evaluate the uh, split antecedent and nafra, we follow in those uh, few steps. So first, we will identify all the, uh, like the split antecedent uh, in the key and the response. And second, we will use uh, relevant uh, F1 scores, we compute a relevant uh, F1 scores between all the pairs, uh, like the, to create a, a similarity metric between, the, uh, between all the combinations uh, in the key and the response. So this relevant F1 basically means when you use the mark scores, we use the mark F1, and when you use the Lear, we use the Lear F1. Uh, so this preserves the uh, uniqueness about the metrics. And the next step is to use the KM algorithms, try to establish the best alignment uh, between the, uh, like the uh, split antecedents in the key and response. So we use the uh, uh, same uh, algorithms used in the safe to do that. Uh, so after that, so the standard metrics has been adjusted uh, to give the partial credit to deal with the partial matchings uh, between those split antecedents. 
Uh, so the main idea uh, behind the, the uh, evaluation of the split antecedent is trying to uh, make the uh, evaluations for the standard dimensions unchanged, and then we try to compute the uh, uh, computations associated with the split antecedent. We were trying to uh, uh, assign the partial credit uh, on uh, how well the uh, split antecedent are resolved in the uh, response and, uh, and the key between them. And uh, the uh, score also have an option to uh, output the uh, like the, the scores only for the split antecedent if you are researching in this specific areas. So we could compute you like a macro average F once for all the split antecedent in the key and the response. Uh, so the next is a non-referring expression. So it's also uh, annotated in the identity column. Uh, we use this uh, uh, like the sub, uh, pre, pre, uh, suffixes, the pseudo fix, pseudo suffixes uh, to identify the non-referring expressions, as well as you can have the options to uh, give the specific uh, types for the those non-referring in the uh, semantic type uh, attributes. Uh, so we follow the CRAC 2018 uh, and trying to uh, like the score the non-referring expressions separately uh, from the identity reference. So F1 score will be computed between the collections of the non-referring expressions in the key and the response. Uh, the next that we do is uh, the dis uh, discussed axis. So it's annotated in the discussed axis columns. Uh, so most recent, like the previous works, trying to um, uh, like the uh, work with the discussed axis is trying to evaluate use a success uh, success at n metrics. Uh, so this metric uh, based on the assumption that goat and alpha are given, and also it will give credit if the goat and goat segment are retrieved within the top end of the interpretations. Uh, so this approach is, has uh, two different limitations. First, uh, uh, it's based on the assumption that go to alpha is given, and also uh, based uh, also it only uh, assess uh, like alpha separately without consideration about the uh, clusters uh, it forms. So um, in our view, uh, we think the uh, discussed axis is very similar to the coreference. So they both form the clusters uh, by links uh, and first to their antecedent, and uh, both they have uh, like the split antecedent and for us refers to like the multiple antecedents. Uh, so the main difference is that in preference, so the antecedents is introduced using the nominal phrases, whereas in the discussed axis, it's introduced using the segment. Uh, so basically, as we've already mentioned, so the discuss uh, the axis columns, uh, the attributes in that is identical to the identity column. So the main difference is we add the those DD uh, like the suffix and the prefixes uh, to the uh, those attributes, so it can be distinguished uh, uh, from the um, identity columns, and uh, it's especially easier for the human beings uh, to read it. Uh, so in the UA score, so the discussed axis is evaluated the same way as the entity uh, anaphora. Uh, so basically, we use a same metric, and all the metrics can support the discussed axis. So this has two advantages. So first, uh, now the discussed axis evaluation works uh, directly on the like the predict dimensions. Uh, it has no problem. And secondly, uh, because of the uh, like our uh, like the contributions uh, to the uh, evaluation of split antecedents, the extensions to that uh, makes uh, like the scores uh, can be able to assess uh, very common cases of the discussed axis that with more than one segment antecedent. So this um, makes a score works well for the discussed axis. Um, so in terms of the bridging reference, so it's annotated in the uh, bridging columns. Uh, so we uh, annotate uh, both uh, the mention anchors and the entity anchors, as well as uh, our option to specify the relationships between them. Uh, so historically, uh, so there are two different evaluation the F1s computed, so the mention-based and entity-based. So the mention based uh, is more strict. Uh, so the antecedent need, need to correct if the same, uh, exactly same mentions has been retrieved by the uh, response and within the key. And uh, uh, whereas the entity, uh, 
based uh, F1 scores is use the uh, entity anchors uh, as long as they are belongs to the same, the, the antecedents belongs to the same, uh, like the, um, the entity, uh, the clusters, uh, that's counts it correctly. Uh, as a bad product, uh, so we also uh, gives like the, uh, enough for recognition, um, F1 scores uh, for the uh, bridging reference as well. Uh, so the score has been used as an official score for the Cody Clark uh, share task uh, both last year's and this year's. Uh, so it's a share task on the dialogue uh, domain for the reference uh, and uh, beyond. Uh, so basically, uh, there is three different tasks. So first, uh, the, it's identity. So it includes the reference relationships for the, as well as the singletons and split antecedents. And the second task is on the bridging reference and the third task for the discussed axis. So this year, so we introduce, uh, we give like the newly annotated uh, data set as well as additional the uh, code and alpha phrases. So if you are interested, you can have a look at our uh, like the code lab page for more details. Um, so in terms of the future work, so we are uh, working on two different uh, directions. So first, we're trying to extend the score to cover also the discontinued mentions, basically the mentions uh, uh, formed by the separate segment uh, in the, of the text. And another thing uh, we also want to cover is trying to find a way to score the uh, corpus with the disagreement annotations. So this is quite uh, common, uh, both in dialogue and other uh, corpuses, such as uh, free detective corpus. Um, so if you are interested, you can find our code in our uh, like the GitHub page uh, like the, with the link below. And thanks for listening. <laughs>